Hey folks, gonna try something today that I will actually be doing in the office uh, like for lunch. And I wanna test it out today to see if this is actually gonna work. So what I've got here is some of this thinly sliced beef sirloin and some of Mama Fuko's noodles. Sounds like this will work really good. This is really good. The H-E-B thinly sliced sirloin is really, really good for making Philly cheesesteaks. But I wanted to try it with the noodles to make like a really good, you know, uh, lunch with noodles and, and, and beef. And uh, this is th this particular uh, Momofuku is the, uh, the tingly chili. So this one's kind of like got the Sichuan peppercorns. It's really, really good. So I got to figure out how to actually cook this because it's frozen with this. So I think I'll start this in the boiling water, get this going and then add the noodles and then drain it and then add the sauce. So let me get into the kitchen, get this started and I'll bring you with me. Stay tuned. Okay, you got my water boiling. I'm going to add this uh, beef puck. This is the, the thinly sliced frozen sirloin from H-E-B. So what I just want to do with this is get this started ahead of the noodles. And I want to toss this around a little bit so it'll break it up. Because this is, this is a bunch of thinly sliced pieces that have just kind of rolled up and frozen. So I'll bring you back here in a sec. And now the beef is right where I want it. It's completely done. It's completely cooked. And it's all broken up to where I want it to be. Now let's add the Mamafuku noodles. And these are the wide noodles. These are really good for this. So I'm just going to kind of toss the noodles around till they till they're done. Should take about 5 minutes for the doneness that I like. If you like them more al dente, you know, just just keep checking on them till they're your desired doneness. Okay, the beef and the noodles are done to my liking. So, well, the only thing left to do is to drain this and sauce it up and eat it. So here, just draining the liquid out. I love this type of noodle because then you're just going to add the uh, the tingly spicy tingly chili sauce to the noodles and the beef and then uh, it'll be ready for lunch. There we go. Looks and smells really good at this point. I really like that. that, that that's a nice amount of beef. Here we add the tingly chili sauce. It might not look like enough sauce to cover this many noodles and beef, but trust me, it is. A little bit of this sauce goes a long way. You could always add other things if you want. Add some sriracha, add some chili oil. You know, it's up to you how you like to. Add some, you know, green onions, whatever. See, that nicely tossed, nicely coated, that was a perfect amount. Let's give it a taste. Okay, let's see how it tastes. Certainly looks good. I mean, it looks and it smells really good. Love these Mamafuku noodles. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of beef there, more than I thought. Let's see if we can get a good bite here. Just one more. There we go. Yeah. Oh, these the noodles are so good. Yeah, I love those Mamafuku noodles. That that tingly chili is one of my favorite. Get that a little tingle from the Sichuan peppercorns, and that beef goes really well with this application. I am not kidding. Usually when I, uh, I use those when I make uh, Philly cheesesteaks, and I use two of those, uh, for lack of a better word, pucks of meat. <laughs> I use two of those per sandwich, and that is perfect. 
for a Philly cheesesteak. But for a, one of these packs of uh, this size noodles, that one uh, puck of beef works perfect. So definitely, I will be doing this at work. And I wanted to test this and try this out because I'm buying something on Amazon. Uh, it's not necessarily an electric lunchbox, but it's a, uh, they, they call it like a personal hot pot. You know, you plug it in, it turns up, it, it can actually boil water and stuff, cook noodles. So I want to have something like that at work and something like this works really well. So once I get that little, little mini hot pot thingy, I'll shoot a video and I'll be thinking about this particular application with noodles and this beef. And uh, I'll use a different noodle this time. So stay tuned for that one. And thanks for watching this one. Mm -hmm.